So I'm going to use this press that we picked up at an auction a few years ago. Say good morning to the cows. So we're gonna do a taste test of these two different apple trees. See which one makes better apple juice. We got this one here. A lot of the a lot of the apples have actually come off already on this one. But they're still quite a bit up high. I'm gonna have to get up high to get them out of there. And then, other tree. Say good morning to the fish. So here is tree number two. It's got more apples on it. We'll see if it makes better juice. So here we are, this is tree number one. We're gonna get the apples off of this tree and we're gonna put them in that trailer that's on the back of that scooter. So I'm gonna climb up in the tree, I'm gonna shake the apples off and the kids are going to put the apples in the trailer. So today we're going to take some apples and make apple juice with it. Good job. All right, come on, let's get apples now. So I'm going to shake the tree, and when the apples fall, you got to put them in there, okay? Okay.
So these are the apples we got off the first tree. So we're gonna empty these out of here and then we're gonna go get some apples off the second tree so we can do a little taste test comparison. So here we are at tree number two. The kids abandoned me. So I'm just gonna pick, so I'm gonna get a bunch of these apples and we'll compare. So we got this wheelbarrow full from the second tree. So this should be enough to do a little taste test. There are still way more apples. I mean, we probably only got 10% of the apples off these trees, but this will give us a nice taste test to see which one is better. So let's go squeeze the juice out of them. So we're gonna start juicing up these apples now and you'll see that you know everything we do on the farm, it always involves a lot of equipment. And when you're doing things on a really small scale, it's hard to have all the equipment you need. So you kind of have to improvise a lot of stuff. And you know, one of the things is when you're pressing the juice out of apples, is you know, the apples are actually quite hard. And you can't just take an apple like this and, and press the juice out of it. I mean you can if you had some kind of you know big industrial machine. But so, you know, normally what you do is it's when you're, gonna, when you're gonna make apple juice, it's a two-step process. First you crush, so you pop up the apple, and then you press it. Um, so we don't have any kind of commercial, uh, you know, we don't have a, an apple crusher. So what I just do is I put an apple in the, in, the, in the trough like this, and then I just smash it with a, with a hammer, and then I put it in the, uh, in the apple press. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna crush all these apples, and then start squeezing the juice out. So there we go, you got our crushed up apples in the press. And so now we're just going to board down. I need to I'm gonna need to get a new one of these. <laughs> Put that in there. Then, you know, we're still using higher pressure than if we had these things perfectly pulped up. So I reinforce this with this piece of iron. Slide this forward. Ready to start squeezing. So, tamping irons. Actually, I've just started squeezing. We've got juice.
And so the juice has stopped flowing. Now. This will be fed to the animals. So that's it. Batch one is just about done. The last few drops coming out, we got about three quarters of a gallon. So we're actually going to go up and pasteurize this and then start on batch number two. All right, so batch number one is done. So let's get started on batch number two. So batch two, it's all done. So we're gonna go up and pasteurize it all and then do a taste test. All right, mom, are you ready? Yep. You gotta do the taste test. Okay. And tell me which one you like better. Hmm. This has a, a tad sourness to it, which, but it's very tasty. It's different. This is more robust. It has more apple-y flavor to it. Maybe the maybe the apples were riper on this one. So, but they, but they both have a bit of a tang to them. So which one do you like better? I think I like this one better. The second one better? Mm -hmm. You want to do it? You want to taste them, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. You got to taste it, taste it, and then tell me which one you like better, OK? <laughs> so taste this one. Is that good? And I'll taste this one. That one is pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so which one do you like better? The second one? No. All right, so so far it's two for two. Okay, mom, one more question, mom. Can you guess which one is which? What do you mean? Which one's from the from the um, tree behind the barn, barn and which one's from the tree the up the hill? Um, I would say the second one that we tasted was from the tree up the hill. And you're right. Good job. Yeah. So you can see this one is a little bit lighter than this one. So this was from the tree that was right behind our barn. And this, this is from the apples on the tree that are just up the hill. And this is the darker one, it's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit more apple-y and pretty much everybody preferred this one.